Good morning. Welcome back to Seymour Junction and the sidings where we're going to carry on from where we left off probably around about seven or eight weeks ago now. It took a while to get back here, um, but we're back and we're going to carry on. We're going to take the line further down and we're going to take it to the right and head off towards what was Markham and then the Bolsover Coal Light and off towards Bolsover Colliery. Now we think there's some interesting stuff further down this line. Now the only way we're going to find that is by taking a walk down there. I've got a video with me again. You remember him from the first part? I'm not going to get rid of him anytime soon. Um, so come along with us and we'll discover it all together. Found ourselves the remains of a signal. Uh, it's got the ladder, but we're not actually going to climb this one. So we think this was the location for the signal box. Might be wrong, we'll get it confirmed, but we think this area, that's what it was. And here is the signal box as it once was, opening in 1963 by the Eastern Region of the British Railways and closed in 2006 and contained no less than 95 levers. And now jumping forward to 2011, note that the, the rails are all rusted, the weeds are growing, the signal box is absolutely a state. The second yellow line that drifts off towards the top of the screen was the line towards Oxcroft, Creswell and Clown. And the line that heads off towards the bottom of the picture goes underneath the M1 is the line that we are following today. We continue further south past the huge Markham Colliery Complex, the coal light chemical works, and then on to Bolsover Colliery and Bolsover Castle Station before we finish today's journey. Now jumping back to 1983, we've got this MGR working which came from Markham Colliery and is heading off to Cotton Power Station. In the background on the left hand side you can just see another coal train being loaded up from the Seymour Stocking site and the junction in the far right hand corner of the picture showing the line off to the left heading towards Creswell and Clown and heading to the right towards Bolsover. And jumping forward to 1997, we've got the signal box taking centerpiece in this image. We've got a class 58 coming towards us heading towards Oxcroft and the class 56 has got a loaded MGR leaving the stocking site at Seymour heading off towards Drax Power Station. <laughs> So we're totally separated away from the line towards Oxcroft and uh, Clown and Creswell now. So that's over there, that's that line of trees you can see there. So that would head on off into that direction. And the M1 is just over there, which we will run alongside a little bit later on. Or probably walk, not gonna run today. Okay, so right next to that little piece of rail we've found, We've also found this. And Vinny's going to demonstrate whether this signal is actually safe or not. And of course, I'll climb up it afterwards when I know he's survived. Right, we're going to give it a go. 
it's times like this I should really have a, a strap on my head. Oh, wow, this seems a hell of a lot steeper than previous ones. Okay, I'm not all the way at the top, I nearly am, but it's because I'm holding the camera. I've got nothing to hold on to otherwise. So yeah, we've got the, the uh, brackets and the bolts still. And that has got the cable hanging out, but you can't see it. I'll let you have a, here we go. So Mark and mate Collery will be in that direction, not be far away now. So I'll climb back down here and uh, see you a bit further down. So we've found uh, another piece of track that's uh, in complete condition. It's not gonna go far because we've got the new road ahead of us. So we're just outside of Markham Business Park, I believe it is. So that above us is the M1 motorway. So that direction off to London, that direction off to the north, including Leeds. So after just passing beneath the M1 motorway, let's jump back to 1978. And we've got this empty coal train heading off towards the short run into Markham Colliery. And note the M1 motorway pretty much in its infancy behind and how much lighter the traffic loads must have been back then. There's just so much to look at in this fine aerial image of Markham Colliery and the surrounding complex. In the foreground, we've got the M1 motorway with very little amount of traffic on it. It's just so different from what it is today. If we look at the center of the picture and move to the left, we can see a coal train. In the far distance at the back, you can just make out Bolsover coal light and this was also a huge complex which spanned a large distance and actually carried on into the far distance and out of view of this picture. The line that we are going to continue following in this video is highlighted for you now. A real step back in time for Mark and Colliery now. Note the array of wagons parked up in the rear of the picture and the huge chimney, the widening houses and all the vehicles and personnel in the foreground of the picture. Into the 1980s now and we've got this fine, moody, black and white image of a loaded MGR preparing to depart away from Markham Colliery. And finally, here's the view showing Markham Colliery Junction with the Colliery line heading off to the right, the signal box in the centre of the screen and the direction we're going to be walking towards Bolsover Coal Light and Bolsover Colliery heading straight down the centre. Let's see what it looks like today. So a couple of hundred yards down from the M1, which is in that direction, we've got the electrical box there. So we're gonna, we're actually right next to where the Markham Colliery complex would have been. So we're gonna continue on down there, it's part of the line. Hopefully it'll not get any worse than what it is now, overgrown wise. But yeah, the Markham Colliery complex was over there We're having to go through this and it's really, really wet. We had some heavy rain for about eight or nine hours last night. And uh, the things we go to, to bring you these videos, but we're back out in the open, a few more sleepers. We think this line closed in 2004, 2005 with the closure of coal light. So to look at it, you'd think it was a lot, 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 lot longer, but what? 13, 14, 15 years. We're still currently walking alongside Markham. So you can't really see it, but it was through them trees. So we'll continue on and carry on getting wet. It's just coming up to a overbridge and uh, plenty more trees. So at this point we were just single track width. 
So we've got the river flowing down there. And then we've got this overbridge, which was probably an internal bridge for the Markham Colliery complex. Saying that, you see the pillar out there. Oh, that's a double track. Uh, Vinny spotted that it probably was a double track at one point because of the the bridge uh, retaining wall there. So it probably was double width and then later on, maybe in the 50s, 60s, they replaced the bridge and it was just then for single track. And immediately next to this bridge, we've got a lovely little telegraph pole. Here's another nice little hut, nice brick one this time. You don't see brick ones very often. Shows how old this one is. Let's have a bit of a nosy on the inside. Check there's nobody living in it. So yeah, nothing in there, but there's the old entrance there. Uh, yeah, telegraph pole here. Yeah, so there's two posts. Oh, that's good. So we think we've found the one of the access roads to the coal light, so we're gonna have a quick nip up and we'll have a look. We'll see if he slips. Right, we ran up, there was nothing to see up there, we couldn't get up the top. Um, that bridge is plated as Richards and Sons in Leicester. So that's where that would have been manufactured. So we'll carry on, it's opened up a bit now, I've got quite a bit of ballast. And Vinny's found something else. So this is going to be part of the Bolsover coal light. Uh, closed since 2004, so 15 years. So some real deep pools of water here on these foundations. The river Dolly is just the other side of those bushes there. But look at the shape of some of these. They're, they're, they're round and they've got brick edges to them. So what these were, we, we haven't got a clue. Whether they used to be, I'd say there's some sort of tanks, mm. upright, upright tanks uh, for this shape. We've got something else here, some sort of like a tank, but it smells, it smells of dirty oil, like there's been a spillage at a petrol station, but it's a bit thicker smelling than that. Uh, if the camera will pick up the oil in the water as well, I think it does. Right. Because it might be a bit of a risk going down there, we don't want to go down there until we've finished walking the line in case there's security. Because I don't know if what this land is. There's clearly been people on here, there's numerous paths coming onto it. So we're not the first and we're not the last, but we'll look at it on the way back. So we'll come back to this on the way back. So let's take another look at that overhead image we looked at earlier. Now at the top of the screen, we've got part of the site of coal light. We've got the railway line in the centre left of the screen and if we look here we can see those round drum shapes like tanks what we've just been looking at on the ground. Now they stand out like a sore thumb and it appears that there was quite a lot of them on both sides of the railway line. So that little bit of site we've just been looking around that's on our right hand side over there so we'll hopefully get time to come back for that. And on the left is more of the coal light site 
Uh, that appears to have a little bit of occupation on there. So we'll be staying clear of that one. So we've got uh, two bridges here. So that's going to be the coal light internal one. And that one is going to be the main road between, I think it's Long Duckmanton that way, and Stanfree in that direction. So the actual main railway line is literally, it's probably about 50 feet away to our left. We are slightly getting closer to it again. Another right, we've still got remains of the former colliery and piles of rubble from demolished buildings. So we're looking now to get back onto the line. See the telegraph poles is where it's running. We think should be able to maybe do it around about here. This might be one of those send Vinny first moments. So it was unsuccessful then. The ponds are all joined to each other, but I think we're coming past the last one now and we'll be able to get around it. Right. So back on the line. So we'll head on further down and last point of call is going to be the site of Bolsover Colliery. And there was the site of, uh, there used to be a station at Bolsover Castle a very short while after. Whether we could get that far, I don't know. There used to be a bridge just here. So we've got the support on the right, but the one on the left appears to be absent. And we've got ourselves a nice freeway point set. Now, a few of you would be aware of this and you've seen it before, but most of you haven't, and this is extraordinary. So more track here, splits into two and then comes to an abrupt end. Uh, the other one, we can follow that. Again, it comes to an end. It's been totally ripped up just here. We've got ourselves a nice, let's just step over this. We've got ourselves a nice little lamp. So here's a scene from 1994 at Bolsover Colite and in the lower part of the picture it clearly displays that triple point set that we've just been looking at. We've got the main running line on the right hand side heading in the distance back towards Seymour Junction with Bolsover Colliery behind us. We've got the sh on-site shunter and we've got the 58 locomotive with a load of loaded HEAs waiting to depart. And remember the lamppost that we've just been looking at? After careful study of this image and the footage that we've uh, recorded ourselves, we believe it to be this very one stood next to the locomotive. A little while later in 1995, we've got another working being loaded up, this time in the K Woods containers wagons, I believe they are. And note the telegraph poles on the right hand side of the line. 
And these are the ones that we've been following in our walk along this route today. And here's another angle of the very same train, fully loaded up. And jumping forward to July 2000, we've got this locomotive, the Class 58 locomotive, shunting away, preparing a working from Bolsover towards Workshop. So there's that last set of points now. So this line came back onto the main line. And this one here was probably another head shunt or run round. Just see how much further it goes. So a few hundred yards up, the line is still there. And then it appears to disappear into nothingness. So I think that might have been a former colliery building. It's, it's really old brickwork. So we're heading towards, we've passed coal light and we think the site on the right was for the colliery itself. So we believe this to be the site of the old Bolsover Castle Station, which opened in 1890 and passenger services were withdrawn in the 1930s. So it didn't have a very long life, but the actual station itself wasn't demolished until the late 1990s. And here we have Bolsover Castle Station in its former glory. I'm unsure whether this image was taken before or after closure, it couldn't have been far off either way because it looks in pristine condition. The, the trees, the shrubs, the buildings, they all look immaculate. There's beautiful lampposts and I believe there's a little bridge in the very far distance of the line which should and could be the A632 road bridge that we've just previously walked underneath. Now one of the fantastic characteristics of Bolsover Colliery was these coal wagons that they were branded with the name, they were owned by the pit itself and this rows upon rows of them, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, from memory of other images I've seen, I believe they're like a burgundy colour, but this black and white shot, it just it just captures everything and tells you everything about how these, these collieries once were. And moving on to the 1970s, we've got this pair of green Class 20s with the empty hoppers behind them in the Bolsover colliery loop. Fantastic image, just beautiful. Through there, there's uh, the sidewall from a bridge. It's very narrow and not very high. And the other uh, wall is on this side. So maybe it was just a foot crossing or farm access at one point. So we think we've just got to the end of what was being used for the two Bolsover complexes of the colliery and the coal light. The track bed, what you can walk on, the ballast comes to an abrupt end and it looks like it's now up there, and we've come down onto this path alongside it. So we're going to continue on for another five minutes, because we think it turns into a, a bridal way cycle path, and then we'll pick it up at some point at a later date and take it off towards uh, Glatwell, Colliery and Dooley, and probably off towards Plesley as well. So coming off the track bed, so that's going to take us to the... Uh, the Stockley Trail Country Park and at this point we can get back onto the track bed it will take us towards Glatwell Dolly 
and it looks like we've got a nice surface to walk on when we come back okay we've come back as we said previously back to the also the coal light oh it still stinks it really stinks we're not going to stay around here long we're just going to have a, another quick wander around this side of it and then we're going to get out of here so we found a few rails still on the um on the side in the concrete just about visible we're going to follow it up a little bit longer but we're not going to stay long because it does smell we've got what appears to be loading bays on either side So some kind of building still standing, full of pipes. Let's uh, stick the camera inside. I can't see anything, but hopefully the camera will fix something up. We'll have a look in. So we're back on where those lines were so if we followed it off towards the main line it disappears and then it would go well it goes straight on so when this was closed to rail access must have been a while ago because these fence posts look like they've been here for a few decades right we're going to head back onto the main line now So we found this, we don't know what it was, but it, it's got like an archway over there and this pipe in here and more piping. Now this is just right beside Markham, the railway line. So you've got the Dolly River there and the track bed's just the other side of that. There's an electrical panel maybe there. But that looks like a like a like where a fireplace would have been or something. So we think that it probably drew water out of the river. Took it up there's some valve gear up there and uh, took it through there. And um, it looks as if the mud's just come down. Um, so we're probably about three foot higher than we originally would have been. Right, that's it, we've done it. So we've got as far as Bolsover. We see more stuff than we thought we were going to see, to be fair. What do you reckon? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. We'll be back at a later date to do see more to Oxcroft and see more to Clown and Creswell and also back down the other end to that trail we ended up at and follow it off towards Dolly. So thanks again for Vinny for joining us. No problem. And um, we'll see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.